Hey guys, I just got another update on the Magpul PTS situation here. Uh, this is the latest news that I have, and, uh, you know, um, this is actually something worth listening to, uh, finally. So, uh, this hasn't been released yet. I got it through a private source that I really believe is reliable. Um, actually deals with Magpul parts a lot, and so uh, I was told that I should be able, I should be okay to share this, um, you know, but if Magpul PTS has something else uh, in mind, then I'll have to take it down, but probably not. Anyway, uh, the release, the email I got uh, from, it's directly through PTS, says that they are currently and immediately halting production of all Magpul-related airsoft components immediately. Um, basically, it's because uh, they're doing this with Magpul USA, uh, to try to stop and crack down on the counterfeit and, uh, you know, fake knockoff Magpul brand products, whether it's Magpul USA or Magpul BTS. Um, basically, some of the stuff started actually start leaking into the uh, military pipeline, and so that's why they're shutting down all the borders, and so hopefully by shutting down the borders and not letting anything in or out, well, mostly in, I guess, um, they're going to try to be able to detect all the counterfeits more easily. And then, uh, you know, they're working with the State Department, Homeland Security, Customs, and all that. And everything apparently is subject to seizure if it tries to come across the border. Uh, so, you know, um, that's kind of disappointing because, you know, if you really like the PTS stuff, um, you know, it's going to be a little bit harder to get it for a while. Now, the, the key phrase in there that I didn't catch at first was that they're halting production. They're not ending it. They're not stopping it. There's a good chance that it may come back in the future, but they don't know when. Um, so right now, if you want something before the prices go up, snag it. Uh, if, you know, I wouldn't panic, though, because there's going to be enough Magpul stuff stockpiled around, uh, at least the PTS versions, for some time now. Um, some people still have them. Prices might bump up, but hopefully not too much. And then there's always the clones uh, floating around as well, which are actually doing pretty decently um, as far as, you know, being functional for Airsoft. Now, uh, the Real Steel stuff, uh, so far, I'm not sure if they're putting a pause on that one either, a hold on that one. Um, but it looks like uh, they're worried about people copying that as well. But hopefully... Uh, for Airsoft, you'll at least be able to get one of the two things. Uh, it just might start costing a little bit more. So that's the latest. Of course, uh, Magpul PTS is supposed to be releasing a statement here, uh, hopefully in the next week. Um, that I was told in the next few days. So we'll see how it goes. Um, thanks for watching and, and keeping uh, up to date with us, with me. And again, I'm just sharing what I heard. So, you know, some, some stuff's not always reliable, but I did get an email that was forwarded to me. Uh, directly that was supposed to go to all the Magpul uh, resellers and suppliers and stuff like that. So uh, we'll see what the official statement is, but that's the latest news on that. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, post up below. Uh, and, uh, you know, I'll, I'll update again if there's any more news. Thanks for watching.